for it and how I can improve. How did it feel? And I pass to Benz. Hey, um, I might have to jump at like a uh, half hour, but um, sorry, what was the, what was the, is this just like intentions, distractions or? Uh, just a hit check, how you feeling? Oh, okay, good. Um, <laughs> a little scattered, just busy today mm -hmm. with um, some public health work um, items. So feeling good otherwise. Um, excited about the the praise quant stuff. This is this is cool. So thank you. Let's pass it to YCG. Hey guys. Um, yeah, feeling a little uh... Like, uh, well, I've just been sitting, it's been a long day for me already, just uh, sitting for four hours, I guess, so I might get up and walk around uh, during this call, and yeah, I'm ex I haven't, I'm pretty out of date with all the overhauls of the reward systems and the quantification process, so I'm just excited to learn. And uh, I'll pass it over to Nuggin. Hey, thanks, YG. Well... Yeah, I'm just happy to see which which feedback we have and and see what the next steps are. It's starting to get a bit late here, so I'm a bit hungry, but I think I'll manage. And I'll pass to uh, Christopher. Uh, thanks. Uh, I am super excited to hear all your experiences doing the quantifications in the new system and basically hear uh, all, all kinds of feedback on the quantification process in general, the difficulties with quantifying as well as uh, like UX, UI feedback. And I will take notes and hopefully help to help make, take your feedback and improve the, the process and the system. That's it for, for me. And I'll pass it to who hasn't gone yet. Uh, NT perhaps. Yeah, thanks. Well, uh, I'm pretty new to the to the TEC. I'm just going around learning uh, about pretty much everything. I think it's uh, an interesting community and project. And just curious to learn more about uh, reward systems and such. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm probably the last one. I just entered. I don't know if someone hasn't talked yet. I'm pretty bad tracking, but if, if there's anyone missing, uh, please jump in. Otherwise, I think we can start with the, with the first question. And actually, like, what were the hardest part when you were quantifying? I think I can start. Uh, for me, like, the hardest part was uh, since, like, understanding the Fibonacci metric. Uh, past, back in the days, like, when I was quantifying price, price I, you know, I had my own metric, uh, which I was using the minus, I think it was for the praise. But now with the Fibonacci sequence uh, being mandatory, uh, yeah, it feels harder. But probably with the time, I'm going to get used to it. But yeah, that's, that was what I was finding hardest. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pass it to Ben. Hey, um, I think what I found hardest was like the um, kind of coming up with my own baseline for like what um, whatever the action was and like how you're kind of uh, essentially like assigning a value to them. I think, you know, after doing it enough, I thought I kind of had something figured out, but then I... You know, started thinking about it more and I was like, well, maybe like this thing, there's really more effort that goes into that than another. Um, so kind of like finding that own, like my own personal method for how I'm doing it. And then um, also kind of how I handled duplicates was a little bit challenging too, because 
some of those things, it's um, less clear, like uh, what's really a duplicate, you know, if there's not like a, a meet, specific meeting date or if it's more general. Um, so those were kind of like the, I, I think the ambiguity was most challenging for me. Um, I will pass to Nugget. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, I'm going to join uh, Zepti there. Uh, for me, the the Fibonacci was also kind of the biggest pain point. The rest worked pretty well, I think. Uh, it was just too much. Like either the range was too too wide from one to a hundred and something, or we should have cut some some steps in between. But uh, often it was like I, I wasn't really sure where to put it because I fear, felt like if I put it too low, there was it was too close to the to the one before, or then it was just way too much suddenly. So I. I think that needs some some tweaking from the UX side, in my opinion, at least. And I'll pass to um, I don't know, uh, Liam. I don't have too many comments on this. Um, I'm just here to listen in. Part um, quantification. I know a lot about the Fibonacci sequence, which is interesting to hear about this. Um, Yeah, can't pass it off for any any comments here. Uh, I can pass it to Livy. Thanks, Leon. Uh, for me, I think is the attention span. I don't know if this is something like related specifically to praise or just me, but before when we did this uh, with a lot of people in the call. It felt like you needed to finish everything. Like there was kind of a rush to finish. And then not having that rush uh, was kind of hard for me because I put it aside and then I would get back to it. And and then in the end, the period went out and I didn't finish. So I, was, I even told Christopher, maybe we could put like a push notification when the time is ending, when it's like a day before ending or something like that. And I'll pass to NT. Sure. Uh, well, I think I'll pass. I don't really have an opinion. This. Uh, maybe I'll pass it on to uh, Benz. He really went, but what about MT, LFT? Oh, he just jumped out. Uh, Rachel, probably you are new to the reward system. Uh, yeah, yeah the, I'll pass. The, okay. Uh, yeah, maybe like we can go out. Like the question is like, what was the hardest part? But since you were not doing the quantification, yeah. Maybe we can jump uh, on the second question. Did you learn anything about the TC while quantifying price? Uh, so, sorry, can, can, I, can I jump in as well? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Christopher. Yeah. Uh, for the first one, I am. Yeah, I I haven't done too that much quantification, but I also felt it, it's difficult to identify duplicates in a good way. I felt the, the, sort of and the, sort of the ambiguity on interpreting what what was the what, what is the real purpose of the praise or what was the real contribution behind the. Praise. Uh, it, I think it's interesting when you do the quantification, you sort of re really see that there is a need to re uh, make the, the quality of the praise higher because at many times it's really difficult to read out what, what is actually what they mean. And also when, when you realize when, after you have quantified a few people and, and the same praise comes up again and again, and the first time you, you read it, it sounds like it was a major contribution from that first person. But then when you have read it for the fourth time, you realize that it was a group phrase referencing, yeah, at least then four people. So then it becomes unclear who did who did the job. Was it, a, or should I just sort of spread out the, the love over those four people? And yeah, going back to the first speaker who 
that was I don't remember is saying the difficulty of of sort of adjusting and finding your own level or your own method on on how to decide what to quantify as a big contribution or and as a small contribution. Yeah, that that are some some of the things that have popped up. Thanks. Thanks, Christopher. Uh, okay, so yeah, now we can jump on the second question. And did you learn anything about the TC while quantifying praise? Uh, I feel, uh, I, I, I mean, I had a very uh, little amount of praise, it was like 90, uh, probably it was a couple of persons. And I feel uh, you get less data than before since you quantify less praise. Uh, yeah, that's my feeling regarding decentralized updates. For quantifiers, uh, I'll pass it to you, Christopher. So, did I learn something about? Yeah, I, I really believe in, in praise being this uh, learning tool. So, I, I'm not uh, one of those who advocate for using the pseudonyms. I think the benefits outweigh the negative consequences of, of having the real usernames uh, visible and real user icons while quantifying because then you it's easier to determine if, for instance if, if there's a group praise then you at some sometimes if you know what what work is being done in the community you can by looking at who, who got praised you can sort of tell who who was sort of the main contributor to to, to that contribution uh, and uh, who, who were maybe were helping out. So that can help your quantification a bit. And also I think it is a really powerful thing to learn what's going on in the community when you see also the real names. Um, uh, and I'll pass it to uh, perhaps um, uh, Liam? No, you said you didn't want to say something. Uh, then uh, maybe Ben's. Um, yeah, I I think I learned. Um, I, I haven't been in touch with you know some of the more like tech centric efforts that have been going on at TEC, like Common Swarm and um, some of those other things. Um, so just like reading through some of that praise um, was informative as to like what exactly has been done over there in that area. Um, even though, you know, you don't know exactly who it is, it's interesting to see um, all the other stuff that you're not necessarily involved with. So. Um, I'll pass to Libby. Yeah, in this point, I, I share the same reflection, Christopher. Like at the same, I feel very confused about this point. Actually, it should be anonymous. If there's more value in being anonymous or more value on being with the real names. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I, I think I personally didn't learn much in the, about the community because I always look at the praise channel like every day for some time. That's the saying that I think that's a great way to learn about the community. But then looking at the priest channel, I see the names of who dished and who did. So maybe that is a good point. And I pass to... Um, Nagin, did you go yet? No, I didn't. Thanks, Libby. Um, yeah, well, sadly, I did get very, very little praise to, to quant. I just got one and it was a meeting attendance. But um, on the very first one, which got lost, I got to quantifying like a third. And um, I have to, like, I, I, I agree there with, with Livia and Christopher. I was I was on the side of strongly in favor of anonymizing, but uh, it, you, you do lose information. Like, you know, 
most of the most of the praise in itself doesn't have that much so you kind of uh, yeah I think it's valuable information so I, I want like to join Libby and Christopher there and I don't know who didn't go yet I think maybe ratio I'm not sure if not uh, back to to you Libby uh, yeah no I'm, I'm passing I wasn't involved in this I'm just here listening thank you Okay, uh, the next question is, do you feel you need more guidance to quantify or did you appreciate the autonomy? And I mean, I can share my thoughts. Like for me, uh, since, you know, I'm very involved, I was feeling pretty comfortable. But uh, for a person that would quantify for the first time, uh, I feel like more guidance uh, could help. Like, especially like people, you know, can go and and type, uh, I mean, and quantify, but are they going to quantify like accordingly to the contributions? That's my biggest concern. Like, I feel like people might even quantify, but then uh, if they are not, you know, you know, if we don't provide enough guidance, like they can just quantify mm, very sketchy. And I think that would damage the rewards. So yeah, I think we, we, we should very focus on helping people uh, to quantify the data. And with that, I'll pass it to uh, Nagan. And thanks for typing, whoever. Thanks, FT. Um, yeah, I, I kind of agree there that as somebody who was more, more involved, um, maybe it was easier for me. I think um, it would be good if you have like a little box somewhere on the page where you quantify with just the most basic rules that you can think of like for example on this specific case uh, I wasn't sure if we wanted to dismiss completely the meeting attendance or no because um, I, I know that for the future praise we're going to dismiss it but since we were quantifying old praise and for the, for the whole praise review uh, we probably will count it at least at one I think so so yeah so just have a little box with the most basic and maybe a link to the extended rules would help, I think, to make the the individual work easier without having to ask that much. And I'll pass to Christopher. Uh, thanks, Nagan. Uh, th that uh, box idea is a really good idea. I, I can say almost 100% we will implement it before the first uh, real quant. I think it will be very useful to have have those, you know, some, someone holding your hand, sort of, or so, someone giving you short instructions or short uh, something you can lean on while, while quantifying. But I'm also looking forward to this being a, an exercise in in crowd intelligence, sort of that practices and um, will grow uh, over time. That the, the instructions should not be too strict. Everyone has to find their own method of of quantifying and in the group discussions following the the quantification during the analysis sessions you yeah um, sort of consensus will slowly build i guess or quite fast would be my guess for for the most obvious things like how, how much do we praise how much do we quantify for instance meeting attendance and those uh, simple basic contributions um, but yeah maybe that uh, i've spoken enough about that now and there was something more I wanted to say, but I'll, I'll come back to it if I remember. Uh, I'll pass it to Libby. Yeah, I agree. I think we should have more guidance, especially this that people, like, I think especially for this point of how oh, it felt confusing, how to use the, the Fibonacci sequence and uh, what types of values each thing have, how to have some type of reference. And I think people who used to quantify a lot in the past had, the, like, everyone built that type of reference for for themselves. So maybe this is something we can uh, write up, maybe get the people who used to quantify the most and um, get some tips and then share that. 
Okay, uh, Caspil Benz. Um, I like the autonomy, but I, I also thought uh, there could be some guidance, maybe like not prescriptive guidance, you know, that says exactly how to do it, but like, um, maybe like some examples of, um, you know, like how, if we have, you know, like an example of what would be appropriate or like what kind of everyone kind of agrees with, uh, that might be hard to come up with, but um, I think that would be helpful to start with. And then um, if people have like tips and, and tricks for tracking like all the duplicate stuff, um, that might be helpful too. I don't know if anyone has any. I think I kind of started doing something on the side to just make notes of like which ones I'd already kind of checked, but that might be helpful too. Um, I'll pass to, uh, I don't know who, Christopher, you want? I, I could, I could jump in again okay. <laughs> because I, I, I remember what I, I missed, uh, saying, and I, I thought about it, both, uh, uh, Septi and, and Nagan said it was quite easy for you because you are. You know, you're, you're very involved in the community or you have done it before. And I think uh, the ambition here would be to... The, the hopes are that, that the quantifiers, that those that are in the, that semi-permanent -perm group of quantifiers, all will be quite involved in the community. So everyone will get to that, the stage that they feel it's, it's quite easy to do it because I, I know a lot about the community. So the, we, we're not planning to throw just every week uh, throwing new people in the mix um, because that would lead to skewed results most definitely. Uh, so I, I'll pass it to whoever wants to go or, or back to Septi. I have a small comment slash question. Um, um, I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty confusing. Like uh, I've been here for two or three days, I don't know, and I'm not really sure what's quantifying, what, what does quantifying mean, and I've been trying to look into documents for something, and so far I haven't seen anything describing uh, the reward system overall, or, or specifically the, the quantifying part. So I think that definitely for starters, uh, some more clearance on and what that's all about is going to go a long way. Thanks. Uh, and, and then the, la the last question is how much price did you were assigned and how long did you take to complete your praise? And we could also say like if you find it was uh, expected timing. I mean, for me, I, I was having a little praise, like 93 something, and I was managing to do it in, in less than an hour. Uh, so for me, it was feeling, you know, that I was having trouble with, you know, I, I was even slower because of the Fibonacci sequence. But yeah, definitely is it feels more smooth than before with the spreadsheet, that's for sure. And um, yeah, I'll pass it to Libby. Um, yeah, that, <laughs> that one is hard for me because like I said, I, I didn't finish it. And then I felt so like, oh my God, it's over. And I did, like, I felt this guilt that I wish, um, yeah, maybe like a notification would help, but I didn't think it was that much praise, like when I looked at all of it. And it was quite quick to... I particularly liked the Fibonacci sequence. I thought it was easy to just like set something there, opposed to before where we needed to write down a number. I, I passed to 
Benz. Um, the first, the first praise quant exercise, um, I had quite a bit. Um, I think I got through it fairly quickly. Um, kind of once I got into the swing of things, um, and I didn't think it was, it was too burdensome. Um, I may, I, I'm... I may have missed like a second round or something, so now I'm feeling guilty because <laughs> I may have missed that. But um, I'll check and see. Um, Do you remember how many how many prays you were assigned and how how long time it fairly quick, quickly was? Sort of. Well, it was. I think it was over two hundred, and does that sound right? And it took a couple, maybe an hour and. A half half maybe an hour and a half two hours um kind of like on and off though i didn't sit down and do it all at once thanks yeah can you take it christopher uh, yeah, sure. I don't have uh, much to add to this. I haven't completed a, a larger sec bunch of praise e either. So, but but this is a very valuable information because this, uh, when doing the regular quants, we need to try to determine how many how many quantifiers should we have uh, quantifying it uh, biweekly. Should it be like 10 people or 20 people? It all depends on what is a reasonable amount of work that we can expect from everyone to put in, like bi weekly. And then, of course, each quantifier will not be assigned to do quantifications every two weeks, but, but still, we need to find the, the, the goal, the sweet spot here between. Yeah. So I'll, I'll pass it to. Um, uh, there's just not not many left here. No. So, Nagan. Uh, yeah, Nagan, you didn't go. No. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, well, the the second time I was assigned just one, so that doesn't really count. Um, and the first time, I don't re really remember. I think it was like 150 or something around that. And yeah, I did like a third, but it was very very on and off. I like. I think I would have t it would have taken like maybe an hour to do all if I just put my head to it more or less. That's kind of my my measure there. So yeah, but it's just an estimation. And I don't know who's missing. If I think I pass it back to you, Zepti. Yeah, actually, uh, those are the questions that we prepare uh, on the dog with Mitch. Uh, I don't know, like if someone have any other question that thinks that it would be nice to have, uh, that's the moment to throw it, and otherwise we could wrap up earlier. Yeah, I, I'm happy to hear and, and any kind of feedback on the praise and quant process. Uh, also, Christopher. Oh, go, go ahead. No, no sorry. I, ju I just wanted to say that I think it it worked well. Like, I, I, apart from this this whole database thing, but it was pretty clear. I think somebody brought it up, but maybe some kind of notification in the in the praise quant channel to to warn people like, hey, tomorrow is the deadline, or we opened a new a new um, quant period, and maybe mentioning the people because. For example, this last uh, quant, uh, I didn't know it it was uh, it had started. I, I, in the end, I didn't get uh, picked, but I don't. I'm not sure if I would have known if if I had been. So, maybe just some kind of something something like that would be maybe an improvement. Yeah, that that is uh, super important since the the the, the quantifier channel will have. Um, no, not all quantifiers will be assigned every uh, every round, sort of. So then it's important to let 
the the people that have been assigned know that you yeah you have been assigned to, to this round. So e either we have to do that manually. I I, I think for the first version uh, we will have to do that manually. That the 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 administrator who assigns quantifiers maybe just writes a message tagging the uh, affected persons, and and then. Uh, uh, this also feels like a really good candidate for as a for a feature that we would like to add to the system. So that w when you begin quantification, uh, the, the bot will send uh, automatically a message to everyone saying that. Yeah. Great. And another thing, like uh, I also posted this document on the reward uh, and assigned and. Uh, tag quantifiers to share feedback. Maybe we can wait until the next reward call to see like if there's more people engaging on this doc and then we can say like, you know, the feedback and then integrate it into the dashboard uh, starting from Wednesday. If you think that's a good idea, Christopher. Mm -hmm. so sounds good. Great. So if there is nothing else, we could wrap up uh, almost 20 minutes earlier so yeah uh, thank you thank you for arranging this call it's really uh, valuable thanks yeah thanks big praise yeah thank you zap thanks everyone for joining see you bye bye see ya.